Before I get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Spelonic for my new website. Check it out at phantomcoasters.com and you can find Spelonic stuff at the link in the description. Anyway, let's get into the video. Six Flags St. Louis in Eureka, Missouri is a park that has been rumored to get a coaster for a long time, but hasn't since 2013. Could we finally be seeing another new addition in the coming years though? Today, I am going to speculate on Six Flags St. Louis' next coaster, what it will be, when it will happen, and where it could go. Before we get into the future though, let's go to the past. In 2008, Six Flags St. Louis received Evil Knievel, a GCI clone of Thunderbird at Powerland in Finland. It was later renamed to American Thunder, which still stands as its title. This was a great addition. From there, it took five years to get another coaster, Boomerang in 2013. However, this coaster isn't special or really new in any way. It came from Six Flags Over Texas, where it had operated 23 years under the name Flashback. It was given a new ugly color scheme and even more generic name when it got moved to Six Flags St. Louis, where it now stands as a not too great ride. It's so irrelevant I sometimes forget it's even there, and Six Flags St. Louis is my home park. For these reasons, I don't really consider this as a new coaster. This means that in my mind, the park's most recent coaster opened 11 years ago, and it will be 12 in 2020. That's 11 years deprived of any new coaster addition. Because of this huge gap, many people, including myself, have speculated that Six Flags St. Louis might receive a new coaster in 2017. Or 2018. Or maybe 2019. What about 2020? The answer has always been no. Instead, it's just been flats and a loop coast. Sorry, flat ride. However, the 2019 season and an upcoming year brings new hope to the speculating. Let's get started with the what. So what do I think Six Flags St. Louis' next coaster could be? I've come up with four possibilities for this video. The first is probably the least likely, which is a new generation Vacoma coaster. These are generally fairly compact rides and they also have a very low price tag. For example, Luck Coaster at Legendia in Poland costs less than $5 million. That may sound like a lot, but in the world of roller coasters, that's nothing. The reason I think this is unlikely is because Vacoma seems very booked over, and also we have not seen any recent Vacoma action in the US aside from Dragonfly at Dollywood. They have so many new coasters planned for the next few years, and now doubt that they can handle much more. These coasters aren't the best coasters for marketing either, which is generally very important to Six Flags. They need coasters that will draw on the crowds. This isn't completely off the table, but it's definitely somewhere on the edge. Next is a coaster that has been rumored for years and years and years since RMC first existed. This is, of course, RMC Boss. I've always been one to say this would be an amazing thing, although my opinion on that has actually shifted a bit in the past year. For one, I personally think Boss is a great ride as is. It gets a pretty good ridership, and Six Flags takes a lot of pride in it, as it is probably the most unique coaster in the park. I still wouldn't complain if it did happen though, because who doesn't love an incredibly smooth airtime packed ride experience along a hill in the woods? RMC conversions are also fairly cheap for what they are, averaging about $6 million. I again think that this is a less likely option though, due to the large fan base this coaster has, and Six Flags stating that for now, they don't have any plans to mess with the boss. Now we are getting to some ideas that I find much more likely, and let's start with a very new concept for a coaster, the SNS Axis model. If you don't know what this is, it's very hard to describe, but picture Tranen in Sweden, except on top of the track or below it points, and it inverts. The video that SNS showed off shows a pretty compact model with a lot of wacky elements that could easily be marketable for Six Flags. There is also probably a fairly low cost, although there is no way to know that for sure since one has yet to be built outside of the testing facility. This would be an excellent fit at the park, and as I said, it could be easily marketed as the world's first lateral 4D coaster, except probably with better wording that actually makes sense to the public. I think this is actually a fairly likely idea, as it seems like something that Six Flags would see and start drooling at. Finally, we have come to the coaster model that always comes up when I'm talking about Six Flags St. Louis, so for your all's sake, I'll try to keep this as short as possible, since I'm sure you've all heard it a lot. The RMC Raptor is a coaster model meant for parks on the small side, which applies to Six Flags St. Louis. It is also easily marketable as a single rail coaster, and it is cheap. 
The two that currently exist have received rave reviews, proving that they are a success. We also know that Six Flags is still interested in them, as Six Flags Great Adventure is getting one with Jersey Devil next year. A Raptor is definitely a viable option for Six Flags St. Louis, and I would be thrilled if it happened. One other small thing is we could get an SNS40 free spin, but they aren't very popular at most parks, and it really just doesn't seem too likely to me. Now that I've talked what, let's get into some when. A few years come to mind when thinking about this. We know that a new coaster won't be coming in 2020 since announcements for that year have already occurred. However, 2021 is still open, and I think this is the most likely. The reason I say that is because Six Flags St. Louis first opened its gates in 1971, which will make 2021 the park's 50th anniversary. Six Flags generally doesn't care about stuff like this, sorry Six Flags New England, but I think it is more likely for, Six, for St. Louis because it would just seem wrong to open a coaster the year after a big anniversary when you could just have easily opened it the year before. 2022 was also on the table, but I doubt it would happen for the reason that I just mentioned. Later than 2022 would be sad, but knowing how the chain treats its St. Louis park, I wouldn't be surprised if this is what ends up happening. Really any year after 2022 is possible, but I would be willing to bet we get something before 2026. Finally, the where. What I mean by this is where in the park the new coaster could go, and I think there are a few different locations where it could happen. Obviously, if RMC Boss happens, it will occur on the land that Boss sits on, but any other coaster would need its own new plot. The first thing that comes to mind is the Ninja. This is an Arrow and Vacoma looping coaster, I have a review out on it if you want to see my thoughts, and it is possibly the least ridden coaster in the whole park. I couldn't tell you the last time I, s I have seen it with an actual line, and this is for good reason. The ride is absolute garbage. Because of how low the ridership is, I could see it being removed next year and being replaced by any one of the ground up coasters that I brought up previously. The next possibility is that they could find some piece of land not taken up by a ride currently. The places that first come to mind when thinking about this are behind Screaming Eagle if they own that land, and somewhere near the boss's first turnaround and mid-course break run. I don't really think that either will happen, but both have enough room to house an awesome compact coaster. Finally, and by far the most likely of the three possible locations, is Tidal Wave's old plot of land. And yes, I just said old. Tidal Wave has been closed for the whole of the 2019 season, but just recently its closure was officially announced. This will leave a nice, juicy plot of land perfect for any one of the coasters I brought up, but one even more so than the others. This one is the RMC Raptor. Six Flags Fiesta Texas got rid of their old Shoot the Shoots ride in 2017, and it was quickly replaced with the single rail coaster, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. This tells me that the area is perfectly sized for this edition, and even if a bit more land is needed, that is available. So boys, wanna hop on the RMC Raptor hype train with me? We finally have true hope for it. Just like that, that's going to do it for my speculation of what Six Flags St. Louis' next coaster could be. Please remember that this is not an announcement and none of this is confirmed, it is only me giving my thoughts. Anyway though, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time. Bye.